I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with featherway light bows Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Can't touch the bottom Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out Out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Set a drift with fed away light bulbs Unaware of where my heart was Alright guys, I am here and I find myself in a state forest once again. Um, love these areas, just, uh, just nice to get away. This is probably one of the more remote streams that I can fish within a couple hours at home. Um, so it's, I just love this spot. We got brooks, we got browns, um, but the only issue is what you see kind of around me right now, rhododendrons. Um, they line this stream for most of it. Um, fortunately, this trail kind of follows the uh, follows the stream, so I can pop in and pop out where I need to. Got a ton of rain last night, but or at least we we're supposed to. I don't know how much we actually got. It was supposed to be almost two inches. Um, but the stream doesn't look too bad. I, I'd pick this stream because it, it does fish well after a really big rain. Um, but yeah, it's not even, not even that high. So I don't know if we got as much rain as I thought, or they were just, the streams were just so low, um, that didn't do too much, but either way it's flowing well enough. I'll be able to catch fish. I have a feeling, but, uh, anyways, I'm going to quit talking. I got a little bit of a hike till I can get to some fishable water. So I'll see you guys on it. where I saw a flash go after it there. There's a fish. Little guy. All right, so no monster to start, but little brook trout kicking us off today. fish. It's not a bad brook trout. Let's go. Beautiful specimen of a brook trout right there. There's another one. Nice. And another uh, another solid fish. Another gorgeous little fish. A fish. A very little brook trout, but we will take him. 
probably one of the better runs that we've come across. I was thinking might get a better fish than this, but there he is. Just a little brookie. There's gotta be others in there. Nice little run here. There's gotta be a fish there. Yep. Another little brook trout. It's a pretty fish there. Go. That's a decent fish. Yeah, brook trout. One of the better brook trout of the day. Hit that in some slow water. Got one under that rhododendron hanging there. And it's kind of cool. There we go, another another nice little brookie. Something that's really uh, kind of I guess encouraging. Not a brown yet. Last time I was out here, I got. Probably 75% brookies, but I did get like six, seven browns as well, and I haven't seen any, so that's good news for the brook trout. There's a fish. Almost got me wrapped on that log, but. Got him. There he is, man. Gorgeous little little guy. Alright, so I am going with something a little bit different for us today, mostly just to mix it up. Um, but just throwing a little black woolly bugger out there. Um, maybe it'll draw a, uh, a bigger fish too. I know they're here. Caught some nice ones last time I was out here, but not that I don't love these little brookies, but wouldn't mind a nice, nice fish. I know there's some decent brookies in here too, so. Um, but those, maybe some browns. I haven't seen a single brown yet. But um, this guy may bring out some bigger fish, but it also might just keep catching me five inch brook trout, so never know. But I think it's worth a shot. Got about two hours or so to fish. Quick update since putting on the, uh, the bugger. I've lost one brookie in a little plunge pool, but it's been tough. There hasn't been really a whole lot of, a lot of water to fish. It's a lot of really shallow runs, just kind of continuously. No, um, no pockets to fish, especially with a bugger. Tried a few, not really have any luck, but this little pocket here looks like it could hold a fish. It's still relatively shallow. I'm sure that there are brook trout in a lot of these these little runs, but they are not 
interested in a bugger. Which is surprising because there usually are. Nothing. But anyways, we're gonna keep moving. Hopefully find some fish here. Oh, got him. That was cool. He whipped it, whipped it once, but got him the second time. Well, not the uh, monster I was hoping to get with the the bugger, but it doesn't change how cool they look. See you, buddy. The um, the trail is a little bit more overgrown than last time I was here. <laughs> I think they could use some maintenance. Walking about half tall, I'm trying to climb through these rhododendrons. They're nice to look at, but they might be my most hated plant. The creek, I mean, is in there somewhere in a tunnel of these guys. But I've missed a huge chunk of this creek because of it. I know from experience it pops out again and I'll be able to get back in, but this kind of sucks. And knowing that we have to go back after after i finish up but hey there we are we're out there's a nice fish that's probably the best brook trout of the day for sure it's a nice one What a fish. Best brookie of the day for sure. It's a good way to end it. It's probably gonna be my last fish of the day. Well, back into the uh, tunnels I go. I might make my way back. I'm wrapping it up. I got a decent hike back. Uh, the Bite definitely slowed down towards the end, but notice the air temp and really the water temp was much colder as we kept going upstream. I think that's probably to do with it. We've had a pretty good cold snap here. Um, it's 50 out right now, but that water temperature felt much colder than the air, so I'm guessing it was around 40. But uh, but yeah, the bite was pretty good to start and then fizzled out there. We got that last fish, but that was my last bite and one of my only bites in the last like 45 minutes so anyways it was a fun day i um, hope you guys enjoyed it got a long walk back on a rocky rhododendron filled trail so i will see you next time here on sc outdoors